Hello and welcome to Klagemauer TV from Studio Karlsruhe. Ladies and gentlemen, today we want to give attention to the difference between the key players and the marginal figures in the Ukraine conflict by way of taking a look at Igor Kolomoisky, a typical key figure. In March, Kolomoisky was appointed by the coup government in Kiev as governor of the region of Dnepropetrovsk with its more than 3.2 million citizens. Key figures are recognizable due to their networking and connections to other key figures, which reveal who is pulling the strings behind the scenes. First of all, connections to finance. Remember, money rules the world. Kolomoisky is ranked as the second or third wealthiest man in Ukraine. He is co-founder and co-owner of the private bank, the biggest bank of Ukraine. His billions were made in association with former Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko, who was indicted for fraud. Secondly, connections to raw material sources and food production industry. Remember what Henry Kissinger once said, whoever controls the oil controls the country. But whoever controls the food production controls the people. Kolomoisky built up around his private bank an influential corporation which controls a big part of the Ukrainian steel, oil, chemistry, energy production and food production industries. According to the Anti-Corruption Action Center, since 2011, Igor Kolomoisky owns the second largest Ukrainian gas company, Burisma Holdings. Significantly, on the 13th of May 2014, R. Hunter Biden, the son of U.S. Vice President Joe Biden, was appointed to the advisory board of this gas corporation. Thirdly, connections to media cartels. Kolomoisky is the owner of the independent Ukrainian information agency Union, with which he controls the major part of what is presented in Ukraine's media. He is also a shareholder of the television company OnePlus, one of the biggest TV stations in Ukraine, and through his private corporation he owns still more media as well. Fourth, for political problems, he prefers to use his own particular solutions. So, for example, with public posters he declared he would pay 10,000 US dollars for every captured pro-Russian separatist. With large billboard advertisements on his bank, he even offered to pay $100 million to whoever could bring about Vladimir Putin's downfall or could make sure that, I quote, the president of the Russian Federation is physically removed. Also, we should not leave unmentioned his statement, all the citizens of Crimea should be hung. Oleg Tsarev confirmed that in an intercepted telephone call on May 14th between himself and Kolomoisky, Kolomoisky, in the synagogue at that time, blamed him for the death of a Jewish soldier of the national troops in Myropol and explained that he was offering one million dollars bounty for Tsarev's head. Tsarev who had invested himself for federalism and the referendums in all the eastern Ukrainian regions, was a candidate for the planned presidential elections of the 25th of May. In protest of the government in Kiev, he withdrew his candidacy. Kolomoisky threatened him, saying they would search for him everywhere and capture his people, starting with his family. We will hang them on the square, said Kolomoisky in this telephone conversation. Furthermore, with Kolomoisky we see how key figures and peripheral figures differ. Peripheral figures usually only have marginal parts, yet they are important to the whole course of events. Kolomoisky maintains relationships to various peripheral groups. As reported by Ukrainian press, Kolomoisky is not only the most important financier of the government overthrow in Kiev, but also the leading supporter of the right-wing sector extremists and other so-called ultra-nationalist groups. With this, Kolomoisky supports and uses exactly those groups that are diametrically opposed to his own Jewish-Israeli background and could even be labeled Nazis. Ladies and gentlemen, 
With this, we close our report about Igor Kolomoisky, one of the most significant key figures in the Ukraine war. There are certainly various key players and certainly the connections between marginal groups and key figures are in reality much more complex. Klagemauer TV does not claim to have all the details and we ask you to help us uncover the details behind these key players and name names. We look forward to greeting you again tomorrow evening. Goodbye. Until then.